This is Santiago. Too many ways been in your place, there's delays. Added up plus signs, it was on the table. Javin and Vibe. Made it to Chile! We are in front of. I don't know. We are still yet to do the walking tour. It's our second day here, so pretty fresh in the city, but we are here after the whole bus ordeal. We ended up staying an extra night in Mendoza. And now we have a whole month here to explore. And I think there's a lot of history. It's a very European architecture looking city, similar to Buenos Aires. So yeah, we have a walking tour in a few days, which will be interesting to hear a little bit more about what the history has been like in this city. I actually don't know what we're going to get up to next. We might go to a beach town. It's the end of September now. So it'll start to get a little bit warmer, closer to summertime before heading to Peru. Airbnb is also right in the center. It's literally the perfect location. I'll put it on the map where it is, but everything is around here. Everything is in walking distance. There is a metro, but I don't even know if we're going to be using it to be totally honest. So the phone store and got a SIM card here in Santiago in Chile. 5G, 40 gigabytes for six US dollars, seven US dollars, actually less than seven US dollars. Wild. I'm not thinking off my head yet. I'm just feeling lazy, just be honest, baby. We got different phases, give it all, take it all. I'm just feeling lazy, just be honest, baby. This place is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We live like a 30 second walk from here. I think it's called Santa Lucia. I'll put the name on the screen because I'm not positive. We just ended up here because we live 30 seconds away. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's a castle. It's closed right now because it's like 5 p.m. But it's beautiful. We'll definitely go up another day. This waterfall, oh my god. How do we live 30 seconds away and we did not find this? We stumbled upon this really cute place. It's called, what is it called? Uh, I think it's like patio. I'll put the name here. It's like patio bar or something like that. And it's a whole bunch of bars. Super cute. Let's see what kind of drinks we can find. We've been in Santiago for just over a week now. And honestly, digital nomad life, I've been working a lot. So not too much to see, but it's such a beautiful city. We are right in the center near uh, Santa Lucia is the name and San Cristobal Hill. It's so, so beautiful. We are planning to go up the Sky Costanera Tower, which is the tallest tower in Latin America and has beautiful views of the snow-capped Andes. What month is it? It just turned October. So it's getting warmer, but there's still snow on the mountains. It's so, so beautiful. And I think so far, this is probably my favorite country in Latin America. I'm gonna say it. Uh, we're going to Peru and actually book flights for two months time. So after a month here, we'll be going a month to the beach and then leaving. So we're not going to the South because that's just like a whole nother trip. But yeah, it's been really beautiful here and so much more to explore. So beautiful we're not even at the castle yet this is like i guess the preliminary kind of park area before the castle the castle is up there and all you have to do is sign in to get in it's completely free there's like a little i just noticed a little snack place here where you can buy some snacks and it's a friday afternoon and it's not very busy completely free just like a really cute area to walk around and we are going to do a little tiny hike up to the castle. We're gonna hike, hike in quotes, these stairs to get to the top. So I don't think it'll take long, but let's see how long it takes. The steps are not the best. It's just like blocks of stone, but uh, let's see how it goes. A little bit out of breath. It appears there's like two 
levels, two layers. So this is the first one. And then, I don't know, maybe like 50, 100 more steps, maybe more. I actually don't know. I think I'm not very good at gauging steps, <laughs> but to get to the top, which that's just a rock, but on the other side is the castle. And yeah, so this is kind of like the preliminary. There's a little pond and relaxing area. There's lots of people in the park relaxing, chilling, having a picnic. Okay, this is so beautiful. This right here, we went on the walking tour yesterday. It's like a cultural center. And then there are clouds, but like, look, where's my finger? Look, these are the mountains with snow. It's a little bit cloudy, so I feel like it would be clearer, but you can still see the snow. How beautiful. And then this is San Cristobal Hill. There's a funicular and a cable car. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here. was so so beautiful i did not think that the views at the top of the hill would be that nice because i didn't think it was that high but it is definitely high and it's so beautiful and it's free so if you're in santiago definitely visit so there is a bike share program in this city like a bike rental i don't know from the government and apparently, I didn't know this, there's also a scooter share, but we tried to get the bikes and you do have to have like the resident ID for the number or be a citizen. So we couldn't get the bikes and I'm assuming we can't get the scooters. So that's unfortunate, but they do have these. You just can't use them. We have seen so many different co-workings, like unofficial co-workings, like this work cafe here in the mall. There was a really small, co-working area and you know it has all the outlets charge and it was full i don't think we would have been able to sit there and it had coffee and tea in the mall in the sky costanera mall so we've we've seen this quite a bit which is nice we haven't been at any official co-working here but i'm sure there's probably a lot in this city more than probably any other city except for maybe medellin that we've been to in south america made it to the park after about an hour's walk from the metro so it was kind of far but it was a far away metro and this park reminds me i used to i lived in shenzhen china for four years and this park and the landscape behind it it's the i guess the financial district in santiago so beautiful this park is so busy it's thanksgiving weekend to be fair it's a saturday but this is just giving me such china vibes i am so in awe, Chile looks, at least Santiago, this part of the city looks like China, like Shenzhen, like the financial district. It's beautiful. It's so clean. There's huge sidewalks to walk down. I'm really shocked. Seemingly Western city that we have been to in all of the countries in Latin America. So far we've been to Colombia, Panama. It actually looks a little bit like Panama, but Panama is more tropical. We've been to Colombia, Argentina, and Paraguay, and Mexico. Kind of Mexico City, Panama vibes here, but it is really, really beautiful. I am shocked. This is only part one of Santiago. We have done so much while we've been here. I mean, it has, Eddie's tired. It hasn't even been a month that we've been here. And I feel like we've done so much. So this is only part one. Subscribe because part two will be coming soon. And we go up the biggest mountain in the city in this one. And it was super fun. So hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.